Hello, Magic Casters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance, and welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 15th episode of our third level spells. Today, we have a very interesting and very popular spell in store for us. Today, we're looking at Dispel Magic. This is one of the staple spells in D&D. I'd put it right up there with Magic Missile and Counter Spell. It is very cool. Almost everyone who's remotely heard of D&D has heard of the spell Magic. That being said, this spell is usable by the Bard, Cleric, Druid, Paladin, Sorcerer, Warlock, and the Wizard. And it is found in the good old Player's Handbook. Now there's a lot of misconceptions about the way this spell is used and we're going to be going over those. Uh, Sage Advice has a couple very interesting entries along this spell so we're going to be addressing those kind of in sequence right after we get into the description so we are going to cover those in this video. But before we do, let's take a quick look at its mechanics here so you can understand how the spell functions on a basic level. Cancel a spell of third level or lower. If the spell is above 3rd level, you can make an ability check using your spellcasting ability to attempt to cancel the spell's effect. The DC is 10 plus the spell's level. Your cast time is 1 action, the range is an impressive 120 feet. The duration is instantaneous. At higher levels, the spell is stopped if it is equal in level to the spell slot used. Components are verbal and somatic, and the school is abjuration. Now, let's take a look at its full description here so we can kind of explain what's going on, and then we will look into the sage advice right after. Choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell of third level or lower on the target ends. For each spell of 4th level or higher on the target, make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. On a successful check, the spell ends. At higher levels, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of 4th level or higher, you automatically end the effects of the spell on the target. If the spells equal in level or less than the level of the spell slot you used. Fantastic stuff! Now with that out of the way, let's take a quick look at some sage advice kind of rulings here. So the first being is can it dispe dispel magical effects like the vampire's charm ability or a druid's wild shape? Sadly, it cannot. Uh, this spell is strictly meant to affect spells. That's it. If it's a spell-like ability, no cigar. My apologies, just the way it is. The second sage advice addresses spells like Animate Dead. So how does it affect summoning spells? So the rule of thumb you're going to want to use here is if it's instantaneous, as in the duration for Animate Dead is instantaneous, there's no effect. Dispel Magic does nothing, the skeletons are still skeletons, even if you burn through the spell slot. However, if you look at spells like Conjure Woodland Beings, the duration there is not instantaneous. As a direct result, the spell magic would work on Conjure Woodland Beings. Very cool stuff. Uh, the third, can you ready the spell magic to stop another spell from taking place? Technically, yes and no. So you cannot use dispel magic in the same way that you would use counter charm just because counter charm kind of prevents the whole spell from taking place in the first place. It interrupts it at the casting stage. Dispel magic only gets rid of the effects after they have occurred. So it is important to draw that distinction. However, you can still ready dispel magic as an action, but just as a quick heads up, that does not mean that the creature targeted by the spell will not be affected. The fourth point they bring up is one regarding the globe of invulnerability. Can dispel magic and a globe of invulnerability? The answer is yes, but dispel magic cannot affect anything that happens within the globe while it is operational. 
The fifth and final point, if the spell magic targets the magical effect from Bless by a cleric, does it remove the effect on all targets? So what this question really gets at is if a spell affects multiple targets, how does the spell magic interlay with it? The short answer is that it only affects one target. So it would only affect one of the recipients of Bless, it would not affect the others. Now the reason why this is important is it kind of gives you insight as to another key difference between Counterspell and Dispel Magic. Dispel Magic only affects the effect on a given target. It does not affect all targets and it does not inherently affect the spell itself. Counterspell on the other hand affects the spell itself, which is very interesting. That being said, let's get into some quick alternative uses here. So the first that I really thought of, and to be honest, these are going to be lacking in depth a little bit just because it's, it's a tricky spell to find alternative uses for because it's a responding spell. So. so the best way I thought about using this is using this to punch up. By this what I mean is using it to debuff your opponent from spell effects. Now if they have spell like abilities you're kind of hooped, if they have enchanted gear you're kind of hooped, but if they are as mentioned previously the recipient of something like bless you can get rid of it. Alternatively you can use this to get rid of debuffs on your own party so there's that too. And through extension that can help drastically with action economy for example dispelling someone's haste. I think that'd be great. This is also a great way of keeping various NPCs safe and protected from debuffs. Kinda alluded to earlier once again, but I really did struggle with this one. That being said, if you have any alternative uses, thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, or stories involving Dispel Magic, please put it down beneath in the comment section. And if you like that cool hand-drawn gnome and you'd like your own hand-drawn D&D picture, please check out the guild hall to figure out exactly how to do that. That being said, I hope you have a great day, and as always, happy casting, everyone.